Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Silver Stock Investor. Today, we're going to look at why solar power needs silver. Consider that there's just no real substitute for silver's use in solar panels. There have been many attempts, uh, for example, with copper, but there are a lot of drawbacks since it's difficult to work in screen printing. And remember, silver is the most electricity conductive metal in existence. In fact, silver sets the conductivity scale at 100 for most productive. Anything else is less efficient and is measured against silver. So silver is also considered quite fire safe since it doesn't spark easily. It's also lightweight and relatively inexpensive. So all of this makes silver the ideal metal to use in solar panels. Because it's so conductive, silver has helped solar efficiencies improve dramatically by using larger amounts of it. Let's look at how exactly silver works in solar panels. First, a paste is created with silver powder. Then it's applied on a silicon wafer. Once light hits the silicon, that solar radiation sets electrons free. Now, here's where the silver comes in. Being the world's best conductor, the silver transmits electricity from the excited electrons to either be used immediately by the consumer or to be stored in a battery and used later. The three most common cell technologies are PERC, TopCon, and HJT. HJT is on the cutting edge because it combines two technologies into one cell. You have a crystalline silicon cell between two layers of thin film silicon. That ups the efficiency of the solar panel. Plus, the cost of manufacturing this kind of solar cell is less costly than for crystalline silicon. PERC uses 80 milligrams of silver per panel. TopCon uses 100 to 120 milligrams. And HJT uses up to 200 to 220 milligrams per panel. So in the case of TopCon and HJT, that's from 50% to 150% more silver to gain better efficiencies. Thanks to the massive shift towards green energy, solar investment is set to actually outpace oil production for the first time ever this year. Only a decade ago, solar spending was just one-sixth of that of oil. And according to the International Energy Agency, installed solar capacity is set to overtake both natural gas by 2026 and coal by 2027, becoming the largest single energy source in the world. Just three years ago, solar panels used just 100 million ounces of silver. This year, that's expected to jump to 160 million ounces. I actually think it will be closer to 180 million ounces by the time we finish 2023. And I expect that that will support much higher silver prices going forward. I hope you enjoyed this overview of why solar needs silver. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow my work at silverstockinvestor.com. That's where I publish the only investment newsletter focused exclusively on silver investments. I've devoted a whole chapter to silver demand, including solar, in my book, The Great Silver Bowl, available on Amazon. You can follow me on Twitter at Peter underscore Kraut, and I'm also on LinkedIn at Peter Kraut. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.